So be it. Jedi. He's no good to be dead. You will never find a more wretched hide of scum and villainy. You know what's going on? Welcome back, everybody, to Star Wars After Hours. Hello? 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 It's your headphones. We're recording. Is it my headphones? It is your headphones. Oh. Well, welcome back, everybody, to, <laughs> to Star Wars After Hours. Uh, I am Stefan Splino. I'm Josh Combs. Uh, Josh, today we're going to be previewing the Battlefront 2 beta yeah giving our thoughts on it uh but first what's up man you know i don't care i really want to play battlefront how what's been going on with you (laughs) is the better question um just working just working in anticipation to play battlefront 2 yes okay perfect so let's just start it up here. Yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and start this. For the audio listeners, we have my brand new computer here with a large monitor. Uh, it's actually just a TV. Ah. Uh that you could uh watch this on the YouTube. players this is John Boyega thanks for joining the Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer beta today you will experience just a small taste of what the full game will have to offer at launch but we're excited to get you into the game early before we begin let me give you a rundown of what's in store for you this November whether dominating the multiplayer battlefront is Kylo Ren leading your squadron through thrilling dogfights in space stepping into the boost of Iden Versio in a new single-player campaign or mastering your skills in split-screen arcade. This is a Star Wars experience like none other, with greater depth and progression than ever before. Star Wars Battlefront 2 has nearly tripled the number of locations, heroes, and vehicles as its predecessor. It all starts with the Battlefront, over 14 locations to explore across all three Star Wars eras. In today's beta, you have a chance to explore Naboo, Fondor, Takodana. Star Wars Battlefront 2 introduces class gameplay. Choose from the Assault, Heavy, Specialist, and Officer classes, each with unique abilities, weapons, and weapon attachments that give you an edge in battle. But it's not all about the power of the individual. The better you play with your team, the more battle points you learn to call in powerful reinforcements, such as clone drum troopers or B2 super battle droids, and a wide range of vehicles, both on the ground and in the air. Battle points are also key to bringing iconic Star Wars heroes into battle. In today's beta, you'll experience four. Darth Maul, Boba Fett, Han Solo, and Rey. You want to fight? Each hero has unique abilities for you to customize and master. Choose the right moment to call in your hero and turn the tide. And last but not least, we have starfighters. Just like troopers, each starfighter has a class. And just like battle points bring your favorite heroes into battle, they can also bring in your favorite hero ships, including the iconic Millennium Falcon, all with unique handling and upgradable abilities. The star card system has been completely rebuilt. These powerful collectibles exist for everything you can spawn in as. Be it a trooper, a vehicle, reinforcement, or hero. 
In the beta, you'll get a taste of the customization available in the full game, with a small selection of star cards to get you started. You can find them in crates, or craft and upgrade them using parts. The rarer the tier of card, the more powerful its effect in battle. Signatures locked. Choose the right star card for the right situation, and get ready to fight. Star Wars Battlefront 2 contains five different multiplayer modes. In today's beta, you'll get a chance to play three of them. Strike, strategic, objective-based battles. Starfighter Assault. Intense dogfights across high atmosphere and space. And Galactic Assault. Epic 20 versus 20 all-out warfare. Not ready for multiplayer yet? No problem. Perfect your skills and try out all of your abilities in the arcade mode. Play split screen co-op, versus, or solo, and earn rewards. Star Wars Battlefront 2's single player campaign debuts an untold story. The Emperor is dead. Helping bridge the events of the return of the Jedi and the Force Awakens. So what happens now? We retaliate, Commander. As Aiden Versio, a Special Forces soldier as equally lethal on the ground as she is in space, you'll fight for the future of the Empire in a galaxy breaking apart. Burn them up! Want to find out more? Prepare to jump into Aiden's story yourself this November. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a massive world, and today's beta is just a small slice of what you experience in the full game at launch. Until then, make sure you check out what's coming up in the daily calendar. We have a whole host of challenges to keep you entertained, including rewards that you can carry over into the game's launch to get a head start this holiday. Now prepare to dive into the Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer beta. You, John Boyega. Yeah, he did pretty pretty well explaining that. Especially with his nice British accent. Yeah, so if you guys haven't seen that yet, I'm sure it's up on YouTube. Um, ton of new locations, ton of new vehicles, and a couple new heroes. I'm most excited about all the new locales we get to visit. There's a ton. Yeah. There's a ton of places. And this is, let's just start it up. Starkiller Base, Takodana. It's so amazing. It's and then it's three different like all three eras. Yeah. So that's one thing I'm really excited about. Um so if you don't know, the beta is going on. It's going to be ending tomorrow. But that's okay cuz I got quite quite a fill. Quite a fill of my my weekend of Battlefront. I'm gonna start out with uh, multiplayer Galactic Assault, and so is Galactic Assault just a standard red versus blue? Um, kind of. It's it's like there is a um, a certain objective. Like this one is in Naboo. It's the clones versus the battle droids. We going to feed dog. Yeah, and so basically you have to keep the other, you know, keep the droids from getting into the palace. Okay. Um, or vice versa, if you're on the battle droid side. So you're at the character selection screen. You got a couple options here as far as clone troopers, specialist, officer, heavy, and assault. So assault looks pretty cool. It's pretty uh, standard, but he's got those nice stripes on him. He's uh, got the DC-15A. Uh, you can also craft a CR-2, small and agile blaster with extreme rate of fire seen wielded by the Nabu security forces. Okay. So an SMG, basically. Yep, pretty much. And then this is just the uh, standard issue. Blaster rifle DC-15A. Um, you can also... Equip and craft different things like mods like Ion Shot, Night Vision, Reduced Recoil. 
Let's look at the heavy DC 15. Uh, my Black Series uh, Commander Cody has the DC 15. It's very long. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's kind of ridiculous, but... And the other option is the FWMB10K. Yeah, first order AKA heavy. the fuck with me boy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that one. First order heavy blaster with medium rate of fire and high damage output. Players needed 15. What's going on here? Is no one playing or am I getting no signal? We got the officer. Hmm. He's uh, interesting. DC 17 fast firing pistol serving as the officer's primary blaster. <laughs> blurg. And then you got the blurg. B L U R R G 1120. Small holdout blaster with a two blast burst mode named after the blurg, a creature native to the planet. Ryloth. You can get a exploding shot, improved burst, and reduced recoil on that. Then you have Specialist. Specialist has the Vulcan. Vulcan. <laughs> Vulcan 38X. Long blaster manufactured for high precision and power over long ranges so the specialist is your sniper class yeah it's my my favorite class a280 cfe sniper configuration of the modular a280 cfe pairing range and uh great job <laughs> so josh you're about to play some native uh keyboard and mouse huh Sure. Yeah. I have both. Whoa. Uh, it's uh, lagging right now. Well, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's... And I like how you... It's, it's very similar to Battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, which is a good thing. I really like Battlefield. This is lagging right now. Has the beta been laggy in general? Yeah. This is one thing I like. I like these uh, thermal binocular things here. You can like mark targets and you get kill assist points because this helps people see them. Oh, gotcha. Somebody's about to pop around the corner. Yeah. Direct hit to the NCT. Killed one of them on my way in. So you just traded. Let's try going to the assault class. So here's that huge uh, transport we'll there. You can actually take control of this after a certain amount of uh, points that you get. Oh, really? Yeah, you can go in and uh, use the cannons on it. But just the visuals of this game right here. Oh, I know. It's out of control. So Josh keeps trading. So I'm going to jump in on some uh, some Xbox One 
uh, controller because I never play keyboard, native keyboard and mouse. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go heavy. Heavy assault. Yeah. I like the way that feels. Whoa. See, it's not like. I oh, think. Oh, this is weird. Do you not like the sensitivity? Yeah, no. Press, press the start button. Go up into those controls. Trying to do thumbsticks. Huh? Thumbsticks here. Controls? Yeah. Uh, if you go further down, it has a controller or gamepad controls. Controller. Soldier sensitivity. And also, you probably want to change stick dead zone. What the hell is stick dead zone? It's how far it lets your stick go. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe just reset to defaults. If you press Y, it'll just like say, hey, let's go regular. Okay. That should be fun, right? Yeah. I don't know what you had going on there, but... It was weird. Yeah, I wasn't really playing with that. The only thing I was using the controller for was Starfighter Assault. Okay, that's more like it. I would like hit. I would hit my uh, hit my stick to look around. And he'd whip like half. <laughs> <laughs> he'd whip in like 180. Do a 180. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just look at like all of the the architecture in Naboo here. It's like... Ooh. It's like exact to the whole city, to the movie. Oh, uh, you're about to look at me. You're about to look And I like that there's so many... There's so many players in this. There's like... 20 per team. Oh. oh, someone's behind you. I was flanked. <laughs> yeah, so basically the key of this one is destroying that transport. Oh. But... Ooh. There you also have uh, grenades. Oh, look at that. You have uh, two vehicles that you can take control of. This one right here, uh, if you go over to it, I forgot what it's called. Um, that is a V-Wing. Ah, yes. V-Wing. So the V-Wing, you can fly. Whoa. Yeah, the BTLB or B, yeah, BTLB. Bacon, tomato, and lettuce. Yeah, BTL. That's a funny looking Y wing. Yeah, it's pretty fun though. It's a fun little thing to, to ride around in. Then you have the the gunship that you just control the guns. So you're like flying around and then you. Oh, that's cool. Control the guns of it. So you have like the turret. It's pretty awesome. It's. Yeah, and then you just continue to. To rack up points. Alright, I gotta get a kill. Or I'm gonna feel really bad about myself. The gunplay feels a little funky to me. It might also be a little laggy. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, there's not, Darth Maul. Not fun. I don't want that. Grenade, make way. Oh shit, you can hear it. Yeah, that's spooky. Ah, uh, behind me. Yep. Gotcha. Furious throw.
Alright, I'm gonna try assault one more time. And then I will switch it up. Check oh. out your other weapons. If you do like the left. Ooh, someone just killed them all. Oh, that was a really bad grenade throw. What about the. Uh, what's on the right bumper? No idea what this is. Oh, grenade launcher. What the hell? Return to mission area. What happened there? Oh, it's because it closes in on you. Wow. People are serious on this game, right. man. Try out that officer. That dumb little pistol. Protect the control stations and keep the enemy out. Yeah, and I don't even have this set at ultra right now. This is only at medium. Can your computer handle Ultra? Yeah. Yeah, it actually goes pretty well. Oh, what? Ultra. I better not be hearing a lightsaber. No, I hear a saber somewhere. Shit. That's it. <laughs> If I played on like Xbox Live, what the fuck? Oh, look at that! You got yourself a turret there. Oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, come on, man! Something blowed. Oh, uh, wrist rocket. Is that Boba Fett? Doesn't make any sense. Back at it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Please die. Mm. I love how the palace looks. It's so, like, it's so crazy how far they went into this, you know? Close. Yeah. Specialist class has to be my favorite. If you use the uh, right bumper, you'll get the that thing. And then you... That override's almost finished. Take back the west station. Yeah. These are many beetle droids. Man, these. Roger, roger. Oh, yep, there's Boba Fett. There's a ton of them. That left, the gun on your left bumper, the stinger pistol is kind of cool. It like, it causes more damage over time, I think. So you can shoot someone and then it will still affect them afterward for a certain amount of time. Oh. So it dots them. Yep. And Damage I just saw over time. With, uh, red saber just jump right across that doorway. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> You're just waiting here while that doorway opens and closes. Oh, and I like how you get the uh, the scope. Oh my god! I finally got the kill. Nice. When you see the the glare of someone's scope. Yeah, they have that too in. Uh, I play Destiny a lot. Yeah. Great defense. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh. 
I don't also, have a grenade for this box, the, uh, do I? No. Because I have the Stinger pistol card on. Do left and right bumper. Watch, it's like this weird stealth mode. What the hell? So you don't show up on their scanners and you have this like different... What is this gun? Uh, it's some weird... Uh, I have to look at it afterward. Oh, there's someone right there. Oh crap, Darth Maul. Yep. <laughs> yeah, not much you can do about that. Oh man, he looks evil. Yeah, he looks really good. They did really well with him. Guessing heavy would probably be decent since Gotta we're go. pretty close quarters now. Heavy. Yeah. It's just so crazy how far they went with this with all the pictures on the wall. With this. I just heard another. Uh, oh, yeah, so did I. oh, yeah, you get. Yeah, like a little minigun style. Oh, yeah. Out of the way, dude. Oh, really? Ah, ouch. <laughs> I reloaded wrong, I guess. Ah, it burns. You're a clone. How do you not know how to reload something perfectly? That's built into your DNA. That shield is like right out of Halo. Oh. Ooh. Like those little, uh, what are they called? Jackals? Yeah. Yeah, like the jackals in Halo. Oh, there he no! is. One more time. Yep. One more time. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, man. It's fun right now, even though I'm really awful at it. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so we're walking through the palace. Look at the detail in this wall. Look at the painting. The candles, like every single piece of this had to be placed in here. Like Oh, that's uh that one guy from the Sokan. Yeah. They're walking through the through the hall through that hallway. <laughs> to that specific hallway. Whoa. Oh blind I think you have a uh, Han Solo to your right. What was that? Was that like a, uh, was that like Darth Maul or something? I have like, no idea. Grabbing onto you? I know that he can do like a, like a force choke. A chalk? Yeah, a, far, a force chalky. A force chalky. I hear his lightsaber. And now it's time to die. <laughs> Bro, really? Wow, just like right... You like walk out that door and you're done. <laughs> Four out, brothers. You know what? D V. I may have lost this fight. But I haven't lost the war. That's right. Dead pouch. Dang. Three kills, five assists, 625 team support score, 1,124 damages done. How do they count the damage number? This is how much damage you've done to this person. I don't know. I am, so I am worth 10 damage, so if I'm killed... That Tim damage is the amount of damages done <laughs> that you've done to a person. <laughs> okay, so this is you can earn credits for each uh, each match. So this one we got 180 credits. So that's pretty good. 
You can look over at your, uh, let's see, is it still on the screen? No, oh, that challenge is play the specialist, play Starfighter Assault. Oh, that's a good idea. It is a good idea. Let's play Starfighter Assault. So, Starfighter Assault is, of course, the space version, the space battle part that was missing from the first Battlefront. Well, mm -hmm. from the f second first Battlefront. <laughs> <laughs> the second first Battlefront was missing this. Mm -hmm. It's something that everyone wanted, something that we had in uh, Battlefront 2. Was it in Battlefront 1 also? I don't original. remember, man. I know it was in Battlefront 2, but... Last chance. Get Yoda's epic lightsaber mastery star card. I don't know what that means. Me neither. <laughs> oh, there. Choose your ship and stop flying. Hell yeah. This one's kind of tough. Is it? Yeah. I can't do it on the keyboard. I'm a rook. You're a rook. Little, little rookie at the keyboard. I can't Body do it. rook. <laughs> Look a boy, huh? Look a boy, huh? Fondor. Imperial Shipyard. Fondor. Okay, so you can go with a T65B X-Wing. A uh, RZ1A Wing. Or BTL A4 Y Wing, the ones that we know and love. Mm hmm. So, pretty standard. Yeah, and then you also have your uh, your hero ships, Hans Falcon. Falcon. Which is uh, interesting. Hans. I wonder if they're going to put in Landos. I wonder if that's going to be something. A thing. We lost too many. We'll retreat to fight another day. Did you just join a game that ended? Wow, that was lame. Yeah, you did. It just it just like match made me with the game that just <laughs> ended. <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> Good job. Oh my god. It was almost like you weren't even there. <laughs> Late to the fight. All forces repel the rebels assault. Oh, so mm, now nice. okay. Empire. So we got a Thai LN fighter, which is the uh, you know, the good classic Thai fighters that we know and love. We have the Thai Interceptor. Oof. Pew pew. I like this one. Yeah, it looks sharp. Thai bomber, straight out of Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, and what is that? Is that our friend, the Skimtar, Maul Skimtar? Yes, Maul's Skimtar. We were just talking about this like two episodes, three episodes ago. We talk so. about the Skimtar a lot. Yeah, we talk about a lot of things a lot, especially including the owner of the Slave One. Yes, Boba Fett. Yes, it is. Boba Fett Slave One is one of the other, uh, one of the other ones there. So let's start out as the regular Tie Fighter. Someone's going in as the bomber. So. Oh. Defeated. By the classic X Wing. By the classic X Wing. So, did it say they have different maps for the space battles? Yeah. 
Because it looks like you're just kind of up in space. Yeah, well, there's different, I mean, planets underneath it. There's different planets underneath it. There's different colored planets. Wow. Well, you have things like, you know. Such variety. Maybe some like, different ships in the sky that you're flying around. And yeah. Stuff, and you have cool little areas that you can go into also. I know there's some spots that you can go, like, inside of this. I was going to say, you get a sense of how big these some of these ships are. Rebel blockade runners have initiated their attack run. Stop them. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. I got so close to hitting that. Holy shit. Oh, I just hit it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan. That was a solid suicide bomb, bro. That was. I kamikaze that thing. Yeah. Why didn't they just do that? You feel no shame. <laughs> Your ancestors were proud of that, bro. And you also have like little like rockets and stuff too. Great bumper. Ooh, put some damage on that thing. I made my ancestors proud. <laughs> You know what, dude? <laughs> you know what I say? Let's bomb it. <laughs> Let's bomb it, dude. You know what I say, man? Why not, bro? LB, RB, okay. Oh, you get him. Yeah, get him. You almost got him. Get one of those specials. Oh. Nice. Oh. That was sick. Oh. You created that victory right now. The rebels will think twice before daring to attack these yards again. Yeah, dumb rebels. Level 100 Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool name. <laughs> 45 credits earned this match. We rich, dog. What are we going to buy with that? 45 credits? I don't know. What's the equivalent? It's like there's some ridiculous things. With Japanese yen. Start destroy a duck food there's a shipyard. Vulnerable. Far from defenseless. Ooh, now we're playing on the rebel side. I don't believe it. Let's go for the TIE fighter. So equip cards. So this is a cool thing also. It's interesting is that you can get crates. You can also earn cards in those crates. You get like daily crates that you open up. You can also purchase those with the credits that you earn. And um, you get these different cards that are just upgrades. Um, so this one, I have the cooling systems card, but I also have tuned lasers or repair systems. I like these tuned lasers. Oh, I have two that I can put in there. Locks at level 10, so you can put all three at level 10. I like this. Our forces won't stand a chance with those cruisers in place. Commence attack run. Initiating attack run. Probably feels good flying that X-Wing. It does. 
Get him, Dad! Fire! Oh, I got real close to another one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try the. Why does it say? Oh, uh, never mind. I get it. Fighter, interceptor, bomber. So they're just taking the the names of the the empire, imperial ships. Yeah. And but then making those all classes. So now we're trying the A wing here. We'll Yeah, this thing has a higher rate of fire. It's a lot more maneuverable. That's this rapid fire. It's right. Oh. Wrong button. Do oh. that. <laughs> Structural failure imminent. Finish the That's mine. Not our best pilot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was yep. good. I'm used to like inverted, I think I'm gonna choose that. <laughs> You're used to inverted? On just on ships. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I grew up on Flight Simulator. <laughs> oh. The original Flight Simulator. It's pretty awesome. Let's get in there, Red Squad. Now I'm in here with a uh, One of our with the Y Wing. Take out those shield generators. The dock will be wide open from there. <laughs> Which has a longer range, it's got a slower rate of fire, but it seems like it's a more damage. Let's see. Oh. Take over, Stefan. Let me see how this feels. Fancy Duck 07. See how it feels to be the good guy? Yes. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man. <laughs> how do I go fast? Um, I forgot which one. Trigger? No, trigger shoot. Press forward. Then we can go after the yeah, that one. It's <laughs> just forward. <laughs> I suppose that makes no sense. What? Okay. My name is Vic, dude. My name is Vic, dude. My name is Vic, dude. You just can't put commas in the middle of the name, so. Yeah. You can't punctuate. Or unless his last name is Ick and his first name is like also still Victor, but he doesn't go by Vic. So he's trying to say it's it's me V Ick. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Do you like that or do you want to change it to a different I just. Uh, the shields around the I'm not even good at flying place. games. Now I'm like. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Yeah, it, now it's I'm like upside down and short. There you go. Continue. Yeah, that's the thing that's confusing about this. Especially because there is no up or down in space, but there is in Star Wars. There's like some way to like do evasive maneuvers, but. I wasn't very good at them. Also, there's like a rolling thing that you can do. 
it's like, I don't know, it's a little too crazy, like, it, it's good for people who are really good, but I disabled it because it's like, oh shit, oh, slave one out, uh oh, oh, oh. that was cool, I love that noise, man, what, <laughs> Jean-Luc Picard, <laughs> I was trying to take out Slave 1 and I got shot up by Mole's skin tar. <laughs> That's not fair, man. That's yeah, not fair. Two of the best heroes out there. God, I wonder what the other heroes are going to be in the hero ships. I hope to see uh, Kylo Ren's ship. Oh, we will. Which we also saw at uh, New York Comic Con. The pictures of that. Did you see that? Yeah. They had full stuff. And they also had that of uh, the weapons. Like the week after we talked about the weapons. Kamikaze! Oh man, I didn't see the black ring. I'm that's what, hot garbage. This that's game. what they always say. <laughs> I didn't see the black ring. And let me guess we lost. Yeah. Defend. Now let's try strike. Can I try strike? Yeah. We've lost too many. We'll retreat to fight another day. Fancy Duck 07. Wow. I have a lot of respect for him, man. At least we earned 100 credits. Yeah, we're, I mean... Anyone, we got 500 points. He got, like, 5,000. Yeah. Anyone that's watching this uh, or even listening to this who can all obviously tell that we're not very good, we should have just inflated this, like, the amount, like, our score. Like, oh, we did so good in that one. We got, like, 20 kills. <laughs> For the listeners, <laughs> we should have just to... <laughs> lied for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll just lie. For all the listeners out there, <laughs> for all the viewers, you will know we are frauds. Okay, Not let's... only are we frauds, we, well, at least I am downright awful, but <laughs> practice makes perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I'm, I'm used to the keyboard. I'm used to playing, like, Counter-Strike and stuff. So, Strike. Speaking of Counter-Strike, Strike on Takodana. Ooh. Maz's Castle. The First Order have intel that Maz's Castle might be the location of a sought-after Jedi artifact, but the Resistant aren't going to let them take it without a fight. Oh. What do you think of that is? Luke's lightsaber. Hitty. Gaber. Okay, I'm gonna go in as a specialist. To view his abilities. Your pauldron looks quite nice. Yeah, I know. I like how it looks. Oh, it's just the same as the clone troopers. Yeah. Stinger pistol, a pistol firing stinger projectiles that deal damage over time, preventing Dot. the distance, preventing the victims from re regenerating health. Wow, hmm. that's pretty good there. Yeah, uh, Destiny had a pistol like that called Thorn in year one, and it got nerfed because it was too powerful, and everybody was whining about it. <laughs> it's kind of like the, uh, what do they call it? Not the, the Needler. The Needler. Okay, well, I think this is going to be one of my favorite maps. Yeah, it's, a little, it's still a little laggy. I think it's just because we're out here. Oh shit, they're up there. I really they're am on top of the castle. I'm into the outside maps. I bet it would look so much better if it was on like Ultra. It is a little laggy. the hell Buffalo, 
Oh, he was right there. Just <sighs> hiding. Waiting for me. Here you go. Try it out. As a first order stone trooper. Got your back. Got your back. Specialist. I'm always confused about stormtroopers like accents. Like I mean I know they came from like everywhere, but this this map is like especially laggy, isn't it? Yeah it is. The package is in the open. Seize it quickly. Pick up that artifact. Nope. I like the resistance, how they look in this one. They're, they're pretty badass looking. Yeah. They look like the dead black series figures that look just like that. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, right, right below you. We have the package. Not what I wanted to do. Let's have the package. He kind of sounds like the guy from uh, Rogue One. Package is being intercepted. That guy from Rogue One, that's perfect. But Ooh, inside of Maz's castle. That's cool. Oh. Where did you come from? You weren't even on my radar. Come on, girl. Trying to look at this droid. Gotcha yeah. back. It looks like a uh, Forlom. Forlom? Yeah, he's a bounty hunter droid. Yeah, and like the one that was in. Uh... Oh, that didn't kill you? Come on. That's stupid. Headshot. Headshot, headshot should kill you no matter what. It's a headshot again! Oh my god. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Ouch. 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 <laughs> like how do you how do you just keep going forward? <laughs> like you're getting blasted in the face with a blaster. I got that guy in the head twice. I wonder how it feels versus getting hit by a bullet. I mean with a bullet you have something going inside of you, you know? Yeah, this you're just like, oh I'm hot. Yeah, it's just really hot right here. Burn! Ah! Like, is it just a really bad burn? Or is it... Oh, that... Oh. Dude, if you were playing Counter-Strike, that would have been one shot right there. You and me. Oh. Whatever you need. Bro. You can see like the beach out there. I see you on my radar, you slimy little rebel. You can get some some oh, mad shit. points. Oh shit. Rocket jumper? We could do this. I don't know, man. Can we? Dude. Damn. Let's These go. guys mean business. Business. <laughs> it's like they're trying to win back a Jedi artifact or something. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. Okay. You were better than me that time? Stay together. Yeah. Stay together. Stay together, Stefan. Actually, if you do stay together, if you're next to someone, you get more points. You get, like, these, like, group battle points or something like that. Huh. Yeah. Gives you some extra, some extra credit. They're just hanging out. 
Be like, hey, dude, I'm just hanging out with people. Oh, cool, you're being social. <laughs> Extra points. Oh. I just heard Chewbacca. So did I. Okay, well, I'm not that means, over there. That means there's a boat. Oh, he's right there. Uh, go back yeah. There's two of them. What the hell? Oh, no. That was just like a heavy something. Oh, what the hell? Might as well heat vision in. Because yeah. you can't see shit out there. I see oh, so it's right fine. there. Nice. Oh, I hear Chewie. Yeah, and when you're like looking through it and it like makes that little ding. That means that you've assisted someone because it will like highlight them like that if you're viewing them. Try the left and right button. Oh. You're all muddy. You got me. Got you. We're a team. Let's go. What you doing? Roll around in the mud down there. <sighs> I like the environment, the trees, and the yeah, me too. Everything is so cool. So cool. Back to the oh shit! We are running out of opportunities. Finish the job. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Let's do this together. Let's do this together. Oh, oh your... you're like right here. There's your boy. Oh, he's gone. Oh, there's Chewbacca, maybe. Yep. Deflete. Deflated. Should it like exploded or something? Yes. A little lackluster. Dang, look at this guy. <laughs> Holy shit, 7,820 7, points? Is that what that was? What a nerd. <laughs> Get a life, dude. <laughs> Come on, bro. Why are you better than me? It's because you don't have a life. <laughs> well, all right, man. So how are we feeling about this? I know it's just the beta, but... I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel really good, too. Lots of, uh, lots of selection. Of course, it's gorgeous. Um... The gunplay feels a little bit better than it did in the... I didn't like it in Battlefront. Mm -hmm. um, it feels a little bit better. I'll have to, you know, once I get it at home. And I think the lag had something to do with it, too. Yeah. Because we're lagging a little bit here. Um, because it, we're in a, a wireless environment yeah. right now. So. Yeah. Well, we have a wire going to a wireless thing. Yeah. This here. Beautiful blue wire that I had to put into our Wi-Fi repeater. Oh, so we're hardwired, but not into the actual we're, router. Yeah, we're just into it. We're hard wireless wi wired. We're hard wireless wired. Yep. Well, much. my Xbox is plugged into my router, so I think I will outperform the repeater. Oh, yeah, and mine performs very well when I have my computer indoors. Yeah. For this, for the podcast here, 
We had to get a little bit of a lag, but it's not too bad. I'm just really excited about this game. Yeah, me too. Um, I love the whole battle mechanics of it. I, I didn't, I wasn't sure if I would like about like the cards or things like that, but um, I think it's pretty cool. Like you can go to get crates. So, starfighter crate, trooper crate, allegiance crate, and you get a different crate every day. You get a daily crate, and then once you uh, do certain goals or whatever, you get another crate, and it gives you, um, you know, cards or mystery items, things like that. So, right on. I, I kind of like that because it does give you a little bit more incentive for a daily play, and a little bit more incentive for a longevity because mm -hmm. i'm thinking that they're just gonna build off of this game for a while yeah this is gonna be a fun one to just jump into you know and play for an hour or so and mm -hmm. um there's lots of stuff to collect and to upgrade yeah. but i don't think it's gonna be a huge time sink and it doesn't look like you're gonna be at a severe disadvantage if you don't you know sink a thousand hours to it. Yeah, exactly. So it's not it's not like uh like modern warfare or something yeah, like that. Or like, even like I'm a big Destiny player. Oh, well Destiny people definitely who have been listening to this game probably or this show probably know. But um yeah, if you don't if you don't sneak enough time into Destiny the it kinda passes you by. I don't think it's gonna be like that at all. I mean the upgrades are just they look more like preference and you know there's some cool weapons you can get some different stuff but um mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be a fun one to just pop into for a little bit yeah and then the career you know i'm i'm really excited about the actual campaign if you go to the play and it'll play this uh campaign thing so i just want to play this this last thing here before uh before we uh let let us all go before we let ourselves go i guess yes because uh no one is held captive in this podcast studio except for that guy in the corner Shh. the emperor is dead so what happens now we retaliate Commander, the Empire will assault the very foundation of the Rebels' pathetic belief in themselves. Tell me, I'm. What is the source of their belief? Hope. Hmm. Correct. This messenger's presence is a great honor, one I choose to share with my daughter. Operation Cinder is to begin at once. Resistance, rebellion, defiance. These are concepts that cannot be allowed to persist. You are but one of many tools by which these ideas shall be burned away. Heed my messenger. He shall relay you to your target. Operation Cinder is the last command of our Emperor, and the first step in securing our future. Inferno is crucial to its success. What's our target? You are not verified. That information can wait. For now. Here are next assignments. They are unusual. But these are unusual times. Go, Commander. Do what you do best.
And their facial animations, their face animations, their face animations, their face animations <laughs> are. It's getting pretty great. Yeah, that's it's kind of scary. It's crossing that crossing that uncanny valley, that little divide that you have with human, you know, computer generated humans. Yes, they're getting there. Lucasfilm has has always you know been at the forefront of that technology, so you know we see that coming through. Um, but that's so insane. Just it's the whole. I don't think anyone saw it coming that you'd be playing on this Empire side and you'd be playing out this this whole end of the story. You yeah, know? the campaign looks like actually interesting. Like I can't wait to play the campaign, which usually with uh, big multiplayer games like this, you can't really say the campaign's like a throw in, you mm-hmm. know. But yeah, like battle uh, battlefield uh, battlefield one. I like how that was done. With the, uh, you know, you play the different war stories or whatever, so you go through different people's lives, and that's cool. This seems like just a really long war story where you're going through the life through, you know, this one character. Mm hmm. And we don't know which way it's going to go because it's supposed to be you're playing out a whole new Star Wars story. And also, um, didn't the Emperor's messenger look like. A member of Daft Punk. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's yeah. exactly that. Yeah. One more time. One more time. We're gonna destroy the rebels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then also just uh, arcade mode. That's one that we'll be able to see once it comes out as well. That's just kind of a training thing. You uh, can play against computers and whatnot. So that should be cool. The thing I didn't like about the beta is that you have to have internet to access it at all. Yeah. But the thing I'm going to like is being able to play arcade or the campaign mode, you know, without having to play online. Sometimes getting, like, getting killed every five seconds gets a little little old yeah just chill out beat up on some ai for a little bit yeah and and they always put all of the good like scenery and stuff into the campaign so i'm really excited to see that yeah no i can't wait november right yeah november you see the pre-order here i've already pre-ordered mine but you can pre-order now standard edition or the deluxe edition so uh yeah you get the yoda's lightsaber mastery and uh, you get the the last Jedi costumes for Rey and Kylo Ren. Mm. So that's gonna be cool. Which version did you pre-order? Standard. Standard. Yeah. S- small I, baller. I was so irritated that I I tried to get the early access beta, but it was only for the deluxe edition pre-orders. Like. I mean, I love Star Wars, and this is a good game, but I don't want to pay $80 on a video game. For a video game? Yeah. Yeah, and the Sorry, pre-order but... deluxe bonus is... Uh, not... What does that even mean? Elite upgrades and three days early access for 40 more bucks? Yeah. It's, it's not worth it, to be honest. Yeah. For me. At least. Heavy pack, officer pack, assault pack, specialist pack. Some people like that stuff. Some people like collecting digital things that will go away. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm fine with the game and then, you know, not spending 20 extra, 40 extra dollars on it, you know? Yeah. Well, true. <laughs> but you know what? I'm really excited that I pre-ordered it because once it comes out, I'm just going to have it downloaded and play it right away. Yeah. This is a large-ass beta, by the way. It's 23 gigabytes. Yikes. Yeah, so I'm curious to be to uh, how big the game is going to be. Maybe it just preloaded. Maybe. Maybe it just has all everything in that 23 gigabytes. And it just needs like the key to 
Just needs the key to unlock it. My game, all the games I've been pre-ordering lately have been doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, so at the time of this recording, uh, we have The Last Jedi trailer uh, finally dropping tomorrow, tomorrow, October 9th. Yeah. So we will be back ASAP to get our thoughts on that. That'll be a better uh, podcast listening experience, probably. Yeah, and that'll be probably our next Hollow Net news. Where we're, we'll also talk about the, uh, you know, Corellia. Yeah. Talk a little bit about Corellia being in Han Solo and uh, catch up on some other stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. We'll be back soon. Uh, like us on all the stuff. Yeah. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those things. Find it at StarWarsAfterHours.com, MyComicShop.com, Audible, everything. Click on those links. Do those things. It gives us money. Thug Life, Frosty Pookie, Eddie Eddie, 45th and Broadway. We out. Bye. So be it. Jedi. He's no good to be dead. He will never fight the more wretched hide of scum and villainy. You know what's going on?